him. So this is right when I saw the ravine behind the pumpkins. I could tell that there's a ravine there. My initial thought was to punch them into the ravine, but then I realized there's three of them. I may get one of them, but then I'm still fighting two, and there's no way I, I win when I have nothing. Go, George. <gasps> yes. No. He's on the trees. He's on the trees. <laughs> so my plan here was to jump down into the ravine, quickly craft a sword, and then kill them because they'd be trapped in the ravine with me. And if I tried that on the surface, they'd run away, they'd craft a sword, and then they'd just come back and I'd die. He's so dead. <laughs> But right about here, when I was in midair, I realized I have eight blocks. The water source doesn't look that big. I can probably block off the entire thing, pretty much. And I knew they were right behind me, so they would just go splat on it. <gasps> Wait, get what? Him, get him, get him, get him, get him. Yes, the water. Him. No! Damn, is he in the wall? I think he dug in. I think he dug in. He's so I see his name right below the block that's in front of me. And I don't hear him break anything after this. So I just assume that he's still right there below. But it turns out that he had actually moved to the side somehow. And so when I break the block below me, thinking I'm going to fall right on him and knock him off, he has me in like a trap position where he can hit at my feet. And this, I literally thought I was going to lose already. In the wall. Oh, he's above me. He's above me. He's okay, above okay. me. Be careful. Be careful. Why did you I fell down. No! And if I had an MLG placed that block, I probably would have died because I would have taken a lot of fall damage and then Sapnap would have had the, the high ground. No jokes intended. Oh. <gasps> I see him. Oh, no, Dream! Did you get him? Oh, I'm on half. So here I saw Bad above me and I knew he had a wood sword and I knew if he just dropped down on me, I had three hearts, I was dead. So the only reasonable thing that I thought I could do is jump across the ravine and build into the wall and hopefully he wouldn't be able to get me then. Heart, I'm on half a heart, I'm on half a heart. I'm right above him, I'm right above him, I see him. <laughs> I'm coming back, no I'm blocks. coming back, keep him there. Okay, sat now, sat now. Just Please kill him. Oh. This is actually footage that was cut from the video. If you see in the top right, those two little dots, that is George and Sapnap. And I saw them when I was going towards this boat. So before I even went to the boat, I knew they were over there in the village. And that and George was confused about how I found him. This is actually how I found them. I saw them way before my chunks had loaded. That would be so amazing. Okay, I think I'm okay. Guys, where where is the muffin head? Hang on. You're make the me? other, make the... Yeah. So the reason I followed them for so long was because I wanted to get them both together so I could quickly kill Sapnap, who had less armor, and then switch to George, and George couldn't just run away. And Sapnap told me after the video that he just randomly went into F5 mode to check behind them, and that he saw me in full iron, like, right behind him, and that actually genuinely was, like, the scariest moment ever. Like, George, help me! Oh. George. Get um, over here, Sapnap. Now, this was so annoying. I cut this out of the video, but Sapnap had me on a goose chase for like five minutes and in the video it looks like 30 seconds or something uh, this was so annoying i'm gonna speed it up right here and you can see it He's at the village, negative seven, two, two, negative seven, three, three. He's chasing me. But bad, did the exact same thing one minute later. And this was so annoying, probably even more annoying. I right, run, run. I'm coming over there. I'm on my way. Okay. What, what direction should I angle? He's killing sheep right now. <laughs> I also completely cut this out, but here's me trying to use a map for like five minutes.
while we're speeding up things, I might as well show you me building the nether trap fully from start to finish. So here you go. thing about this bed trap is that I actually planned it out before the recording, like three, four days before. I tested it and originally I wanted to do it right when they come through the portal, but the portal block itself actually blocks the bed damage. So if I hadn't tested that during this video, I would have actually totally messed up and I would have died. But my preparation is what actually helped me win here. And I get a lot of comments about like, oh, I can't believe he's so smart. He comes up with stuff like that at like on the fly. And it is creative, but I think of a lot of these things before I actually record. I'll think, okay, what are five ways I can surprise George or I can surprise Bad or whoever in this next video because I need them in order to try and like win. So I definitely look much better than I am in my videos, but there is a little bit of preparation there that most people probably don't know about. And I did think about brewing invisibility potions to sneak out, but I forgot to get a golden carrot before I went into the nether, so I couldn't do that. Ooh, we're looking for some iron. We're looking <laughs> oh for God, some iron. You just we're narrate for literally some everything iron. you do, don't you? I actually thought that this was just Bad being an idiot and narrating everything that they were doing like he had been doing for the last hour. But it wasn't, and he was right behind me, and this really caught me off guard. <laughs> yes! What? Come on, by dream, this is this is over. I actually couldn't get the water because it was waterlogged, so that that was pretty annoying. But then this fight lasted so long. So here's actually an uncut version of this fight. I'm gonna speed it up again, but here's the uncut version. so busy always trading oh my goodness oh it doesn't matter i ah what are you doing stop watch attacking out, me creeper. i thought that was dream you muffin you scared the living muffins out of me Fine. there's a ravine right over there back yeah, they're literally Where? Back with, right over there. through that way oh, wait a minute guys this just gave me an idea hey all three of us let's go mining together <laughs> that sounds like a terrible this idea guy, this guy no no a no noob. guys look at me Oh, Could okay, yeah. all three of us go mining together? Let's all go mining together. Okay, you let's all go mining so together. Stupid. You know, I'm gonna like all fall for that. That's like, no, no, guys, look at me. And then he's like nodding up and down like his head. <laughs> <laughs> no. You're like, yeah, oh, yeah, no, yeah, I forgot. I yeah, let's all go mining that. together. I'm gonna beat you with these. I thought this zombie was gonna attack me and give me away. So I like waited to try and avoid it. Sticks. 
<laughs> Give me some wood, please. Do you have I anything? I have nothing. Literally, <gasps> I have a sapling. Is that a door? I will grow a tree. It's a door. Oh Dream's goodness. here. Dream's Literally. opening the doors. So here I stood still because when you move, you make particles on the block on the ground. And I saw George coming, so I thought, oh, I need to stand still. Otherwise, he's going to see my block particles because the block particles are way more obvious than the invisibility particles. I hear the door. Don't close this, you muffin. Literally, the door he opened, is right here. He opened an iron door. I heard it. No. So I'm actually pretty sure that I bumped bad there, and he didn't realize because Sapnap was right next to him, and I think he just assumed it was Sapnap. I mean, because nobody's going to be thinking, oh, someone invisible just bumped into me. There's literally a door right here, George. It was an, it was an iron door. I heard George. it. No, George. Literally just block it. He's, He's right filling in the portal. So bad was trying to run to me to attack me, and he ran through the empty portal because it was the quickest way. And then when he was in the portal, I placed the final ender eye, so he instantly got teleported to the end. I saw people confused about that. Like, how did he get to the end? When did he get to the end? And most people didn't realize that he went to the end right then. There! Where is he? Oh, where is he? <laughs> so I don't know if you can tell in this clip, but I literally didn't even have my hand on my mouse or my keyboard. I never once thought they built a trap or anything like that. And the reason for that was I thought that I bad had accidentally gone into the end, which he had. And I didn't think that he would think to trap the portal. And I had seen him die pretty soon after he got into the end. At least I thought it was actually pretty long. So I never had a second thought about them trying to kill me. Now I was such an idiot. I should have had my pearls in my hotbar. I don't know why I didn't put them. I just wasn't worried about anything, I guess. I don't know. I was being cocky. I thought I was going to be cutting like the rest of this out basically because in order to make my videos intense, I try and make it so people don't know who won at the end. So because I was going to win, I thought, okay, I'm going to be editing like the rest of this out. I don't really have to try. I've beaten the Ender Dragon a thousand times. I have full armor. I have a water bucket. So I was completely unprepared. I was drinking Gatorade. And then I kind of had like a shocked reaction like what, it, like, what is going on? <laughs> But yeah, guys, that's it for this video. Um, I'm not sure I'll do this in the future, but if you guys really like this analysis type thing for videos like this one specifically, then maybe I will. Just make sure to leave a like on this video if, if you like stuff like this and make sure to leave a comment down below supporting it. Because I think it's interesting to talk about why I did something or how I thought of something or whatever or what's happening. I'm explaining the video really so you can better understand my thought process or whatever. And yeah, hope you guys enjoyed. I need it. <laughs> <laughs> okay, SpongeBob. <laughs> George, are you sure so that? I mean, not really, you but like, you can have my last seen leftovers. Spongebob? <laughs> what? No way. That's such a lie. Isn't that crazy? I've seen He's SpongeBob. never seen Spongebob. That's He's weird. never uh, seen Dream Spongebob. Never seen I have SpongeBob. seen Spongebob. Yeah, he literally, I asked him, I was like, what's Spongebob dreaming? He's like, I don't know.